Namaste, so family, Sky Goddess. Um, the current transits that we got here, um, we've got Venus transiting Capricorn. That's the second and the seventh house. Okay, and the Venus begun its transit in the frequency of Capricorn this morning. Okay, um, Mercury is about to step into the frequency of Scorpio, okay, in about a little over an hour, okay, we got Mercury the third and the sixth houses stepping into the frequency of Scorpio. Okay, so we're dealing with Pluto and we are, you know, dealing with Saturn, okay? So a lot of stagnancy, also a lot of, you know, dealing with a lot of fears and phobias, but also um, some restrictions, very restrictive, where, you know, Scorpio and Cap and Saturn are concerned, okay? Um, Scorpio and Capricorn, Pluto and Saturn, okay? So I've already, I, I, I like do these videos over and over again just to keep you guys up to date and, you know, on your P's and Q's, okay? Because I've done, you know, I think two videos on separate occasions. In regards to these transits, I'm, you know, about to speak about. Okay. Uh, bear in mind, we are still, you know, Sun in Scorpio. Gaia is still transiting the frequency of Scorpio. So, we've got the Earth in Scorpio. We've got the, we've got Mercury and Venus, third and second, third and sixth houses. Second and seventh houses, and we've got the fifth house, which is um, the sun frequency, okay? All right, which is really, really Gaia's transit, okay? Because the sun, it doesn't move. The planets, they revolve around the sun, not the sun, okay? So whilst revolving around the sun, they transit the 12 zodiacal frequencies, okay? So, okay, I want to touch on Venus, okay, because we are already in that transit. I've spoke about Sun and Scorpio. It is, um, the fifth house being in Scorpio, it is, you know, uh, how do I explain that now? It is, you know, it's a very emotional frequency, okay? You know, emotions are I quick to cut people off, quick to get upset, you know, but it's also a very sexual frequency as it rules the genitals, so we've got people really horny at this time of the year, okay, not everybody, but, you know, it's a very sexual frequency, so it's very, you know, people are really, really sensitive to, you know, where sex is concerned, and so you have a lot of, you know, sexual, you know, people's sexual demons you know you know taking the forefront center stage like pedophilia r-e-p-e um yeah pedophilia r-e-p-e also um trafficking you know um also you know a lot of tabooism where you know sex is concerned and stuff like that but going into i don't want to elaborate much on scorpio we, we also got you know truths okay because scorpio also rules you know what's really beneath the surface okay deep rotten core truths okay things that can be really upsetting things that are really intense from various walk walk of life okay various walks of life um it's a, also a very sensitive time where uh conception is concerned so you want to be really careful where 
having unprotected sex or engaging in unprotected sex is concerned okay you want to be really careful about your going out also because i said a lot of people their sexual demons are you know taking center stage right now okay and it is not everybody who got you know that sense of you know um you know uh self-control okay so in regards to fears and phobias you like you know like past experience traumatic ex traumatic ex experiences you know ptsd post-traumatic stress disorder may be on the rise will be on the rise is on the rise okay for the remainder of scorpio season because it's, it's, it's like you said, very emotional, very sensitive. And it's like, you know, you, you feel a certain type of way, but you're not really dealing with, you know, these emotions because you're like sweeping them underneath the, the carpet, okay? Because, you know, we, they're too intense, you know, but they are there nonetheless, okay? So we have those energies also. My apologies for the noisy background, okay? So um like you know also you know it's, it's 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 the season of death so you got more deaths you know manifest in this time of the year also inheritances if you were you know awaiting inheritance like for example you know in regards to a will you may see that manifest during you know this season okay for many 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 different reasons okay not just because it's done in scorpio but because of other aspects abounding we also got um a lot of you know it's, it's it's also a destructive kind of frequency wanting to remodel wanting to remake wanting to you know remold and this isn't just in regards to you know um a project that you got you know going on this is in regards to yourself you wanting to like this is pretty much a time to make resolutions because it's a transformative you know period okay so you got people you know really thinking you know who they want to be seen as and how they want to project themselves to the population if you know what I'm trying to say you know how they want to be you know taken you know also um so you got people, you know, remodeling, you know, how they present themselves, how they do their hair, how, you know, how they dress, you know, how they speak, how they walk, their work ethics, along with other transits abounding, like I said. So it's just, it's just a wonderful blending of energies. Okay, so it's, it's a very transformative time. Also, you know, in regards to relationships, you know, people really psychoanalyzing themselves and their relationships for those who are strong enough to deal with you know those deep rotten core truths okay also you know refurbishing remodeling your homes your businesses okay with especially for water signs pisces cancer scorpio sun rising north node chinese astrological year okay you have the pig you have the goat you're of the rabbit okay so what i really wanted to talk about are the new the, the current transits the new transits like venus second and seventh house in cappy and you know you know like i said you know a little while from now we've got the third and the sixth houses transit in scorpio okay mercury okay also, we all know that Mars, you know, started its transit, like I mentioned in a previous video, in the frequency of Scorpio, okay, which is a similar frequency, just like, you know, just opposite, say water frequency, but it's, it's just not so fast, you know, it's not so, you know, quick moving, it's not a fast moving frequency, like Aries, okay, which is ruled by Mars, okay, the first house. So you know, um, but it, 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 it's 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 very intense. So that's the similarity between Aries and Scorpio, their intensity and how you know, you know, um, blunt their force is, you know, and how impactful it is, okay. Uh, and I might I add, it's kind of like a dangerous place for Scor for Scorpio to be, or for Mars to be, because like you know, the actions they come before, you know, the thoughts. Okay, so a lot of you know vengeful you know actions. Okay. Um. 
people you know being too quick to cut people off ending their connections and it's just a whole heap of, you know it can be it's a very dramatic uh season okay so i want to talk about venus's transit now in cappy okay so changing in in the appetite a lot of you know well the appetite is going to be restricted you know um this could be because you're on a diet like i said you know sun in scorpio remodeling you know refurbishing you know just transforming your life okay so deciding that you want to stop eating certain things you want to start eating certain things you want to start exercising you want to stop exercising maybe you want to gain a few weight a, a few pounds okay this is also like um being stuck at work so it's a very restrictive i did say that earlier a very restrictive time so it's not much it's not a time you know to really go out and you know socialize a lot of work um and this could be because you need the extra money because you know the support is kind of drying up for some people or it's being reduced okay um so some people they will lose a few pounds during you know you know you know these transits and venus transits capricorn until december and it will retrograde that sign okay i'm gonna have to talk to these boys listen i don't want the noise Asher, Asher, I do not want the noise. And you too, Joshua. I don't intend to tell you guys again to tone it down. Please. Okay, so, yes. December 19, yeah, Venus retrogrades Capricorn. But until then, it is going direct, okay? But when it, whenever it does retrograde, you know, these energies is like, it's going to be, you know, duplicated, but intensified, okay? So, you got to be careful. All right? So, um, so, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So, you know, you know, people are going to be, you know, you know, slimming down, okay? By some means, you know, some, some, you know method or some means people are going to be you know losing weight now this could be through sickness okay whether it's the common cold the flu this could be c19 this could be you know um something that you're taking a medication or the vaseline but something's gonna like if this isn't a diet that you're gonna be engaging in this is definitely something you've been forced okay to you know change how you eat and it's it's naturally the 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 flu season it is naturally asher i don't intend to talk to you again you are too loud it is naturally the flu season and you know a lot of people they contract a cold or the flu at this time of the year um and so that you know tends to you know for some people, uh, drastically. For some, not so drastically. But it does tend to, you know, um, affect the appetite. Okay, it does affect, you know, um, the, you know, you know, digestive system. Okay, yeah. Also, be really careful of food poisoning this time of the year, or poison, uh, poisoning, you know any at all it doesn't have to be food poisoning just like really be careful okay um it's also a time for a lot of you know you know what do you call it uh catalogs okay so like a, a prominent job that is on the rise now you know you know is in the model industry okay i mean the festive season is coming up okay you know and also it's just really the frequencies that dominate that are abounding now so people are in you know those not you know that you know optimistic or perky or a beat of you know you know of a frequency 
considering things that are happening now, it's still, you know, the best time of the year. So we got it, yeah. So jobs or modeling is concerned, okay, whether being a photographer, a model, you know, a seamstress, a tailor, um, you know, someone who puts the catalogs together, the magazines together, um, a designer. Like I said, it's a very good time to, you know, yeah, for people in, in such fields to get, you know, jobs um proofreaders you know writers you know analysts okay it's a very good time okay also you know be careful of a lot of theft okay a lot of crimes being committed out in the public people being attacked in public spaces whilst traveling home in their vehicles you know you want to be really careful okay so um you want to ensure that if you have anything of value you put that away you hide that because People, you know, there are thieves in the public at this time of the year because of the transit, you know, and you got to be careful because they are watching, they're watching people, watching people's homes. So there, there, there's going to be a lot of break-ins at this time, okay? Expect that all the way through to December. As a matter of fact, this is not just all the way through to December, but this is going to extend through to the, you know, the first part of next year. Uh, that is wow so you want to be really careful you know until you know next pretty much i'm gonna just say until the, the the end of you know this season okay let me just say that okay you want to be really careful until pisces season pretty much so okay Oh, what else is I saying? Also, a lot of running away from the law. A lot of contracts coming to an end. This is like job contracts. You know, you know, work contracts. You know, relationship contracts. Marriages. Relationships ending. People choosing to move on. And this could be to, you know, just, you know, to just, you know, be by themselves. To stay by themselves. Okay. So it's, it's actually a kind of lonely time too. It's you know it's, it's you know where does that sounds okay? But also it's just not a good time to do anything unscrupulous because um, it's just frequencies and energies, guys. Evidence will be left behind if you are a criminal and you do anything sketchy this time of the year, you are gonna get caught. Yeah, the evidence is going to be found. There will be evidence left behind. Let me just say that, okay? Um, a lot of sickness, a lot of people getting sick, okay? Hey, Asher, Josh, Asher, just stop the plane right now with, with Zach because you're making too much noise right there. Right there. You're making too much noise. Okay? Ash, Joshua. You need to get inside. It's getting chilly. You need to get inside. Yeah? No, no, no. You need to get inside because you're not listening and you're being rude. I don't know. I'm doing my video and you know I don't want any interruptions. I'm not going to answer you because you all always do that. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. You were here earlier. You didn't ask me that. I'm doing my video. Don't ask me anything. Okay? Don't ask me about no cherry. You need to respect what I'm doing. So, a lot of people, you know, getting sick. A lot of people getting robbed. Um, and, it, it's, like I said, it's really a time where, you know, people are just not going to be thinking before they do things. Like I said, and, you know, that is definitely why a lot of evidence is going to be left behind. You know, people are going to get caught, you know, caught in, you know, their lies. <clears throat> okay. 
Uh, I'm trying to, like, compete with these boys in the background. Like, I have to, like, be elevating my voice. It's ridiculous. Um... Wait, what is that again? Oh. Money is going to be really tight and hard to come by. It's just so, it just sounds so messy, you know? But yeah. It's, it's just also, you know, the stomach is really sensitive. So you want to eat, you know, you know, things that are not too hard, hard to digest. Things that are way easier to digest. You want to, yeah. Mommy! You also want to be careful of heart attacks, strokes, but, uh, yeah, heart attacks and, and strokes, you know, restricting of the veins and the arteries and stuff like that. Um, some of you are going to be prone to breakouts at this time of the year, specifically, this is specifically for, um, where the breaking out is concerned and, you know, you know, um, strokes and heart attacks you're concerned it's specifically not not restricted to but specifically for water signs and um fire signs okay cancer scorpio pisces aries leo sag okay you're all very sensitive to you know um those frequencies at this time specifically you guys okay So you want to do, and if you do, you know, recreational drugs, you want to ensure that you do the kind that doesn't cause your heart to race that much. You want to use stuff that really causes your heart rate to kind of like be a bit calmer or, you know, settle, okay? Because like I, I noticed that marijuana, it, 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 it speeds up the heart rate. And it causes, you know, it causes the blood flow to, it raises your blood pressure. Let me just say that. Okay. And, you know, that can trigger a heart attack. I noticed, you know, cigarettes, they're like the complete opposite. Okay. It's, you know, still smoking, but the frequencies are different. So cigarettes, they tend to slow down the heart rate. Okay. So if you are a smoker, you might want to lay off of the, the marijuana doing this transit and try cigarettes okay if you can okay i'm not this isn't you know um a um what was i about to say this isn't this advice that i'm like just giving is not to be taken as professional consultancy okay or professional advice it's just you know um based on my own experiences okay so of course you got to know for yourself do not um substitute i i wanted to say do not substitute uh professional professional advice for just a disclaimer do not substitute professional advice for um my own advice okay do what your intuition tells you to do in other words okay love you know you know your relationships are going to be really hard this time it's it's it sounds so horrible but it's the transit and it don't make any sense i lie and tell you it's going to be all peaches and you know cream or peaches and sunshine you know and it, it turns out not to be i would just be proven to be a liar okay 
So I'm touching on Mercury, third and sixth houses in, in, in Scorpio. A lot of communicating, you know, with people from your past, you know, who ghosted you, you ghosted them. But also, you know, also, you know, the transform transformation of relationships. Like your relationship, if you're in a new relationship, you may actually move in with your new lover. You know, it's just really a transformation. This could actually be the ending thereof, but this could be, you know, moving from, you know, one, you know, you know, one level of commitment to another level, you know, like you know, up in, you know, the commitment game, okay? Yeah, so... Like, like you said, you know, rise, you know, in paranoia, PTSD, you know, stressful, fearful, you know, it's just the, like, kind of reliving past experiences or so you think okay almost that some people will face um uh Oh, eviction loss of homes whether this is due to you know the loss of a job or this is due to um, fire um, arson um, this could be due to you know your home wanting to be repaired or you know you gotta vacate the premises blah 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 like I said earlier remodeling okay maybe the house you know um, was poorly built, you know, and something, you know, needs to be reconstructed, okay? So, yeah, you got to look out for that, okay? But also, like I said, the end of contract. So, this could be the loss of a job. You are paying rent, you are paying mortgage, you can't afford to pay for your mortgage anymore, your rent, and you've lost your home. This can also be because you're now divorced or you're now separated from your partner or that relationship ended. You got to relocate. Okay, this could be because you had a huge blow up. You and your partner, they threatened you, you know, and they now there's got to be a restraining order or you threaten them and, you know, the same has to pursue. Okay, um, do a lot of spiteful things, you know, I, I said this already. So we have a lot of, you know, quick, sudden sex, like people returning to their exes, like I said, to spite their new lovers. But this is also people just, you know, um, not getting what they want out of your relationship and just, you know, going elsewhere to get that fulfillment, you know? A lot of, you know, overanalyzing, you know. But, you know, you know, it's not saying that that decisions being made during these transits are going to, like, really um, be ill-timed or immature. Because some of these decisions are going to be accurate and right. Okay? Like, because, like I said, a lot of evidence is going to be left behind. So, if this is in regards to a lover who hasn't been treating you right, who's really unfaithful, there's going to be some form of evidence left behind, okay? So, this could be you walking in on them. But that's an evidence, okay? Walking in on your partner, having, you know, sexual relations with your friend, your relative, a family member, a neighbor, or someone, you know, coming to you, giving you concrete evidence of such. Of course, we know it's not good or safe to believe word of mouth because gossip, because of gossip. And gossips, you know, they can be really detrimental to our relationships, work relationships, you know, professional relationships, you know, emotional relationships, sexual relationships. And we also got, you know what, we also got to be mindful of, um, because a lot of gossip, it really comes a lot of times from people who do not like your spouse. And this could be for whatever reason, but whatever they say might not be true.
So you want to ensure that you got evidence which the transits will allow the evidence to surface and to emerge, okay? So this could be, you know, someone sending you a picture of you and your, your them and your partner canoodling, okay? It can be something like that. A lot of toxic sex, let me just say that, and not just toxic sex, sex, but really aggressive sex, angry sex, okay? So, like I said, this is like also, you know, with people from your past, okay, who did you wrong, who you did wrong, and it's just like, just toxic, but yet you're, you know, back together, and you're, you're doing, you know, the nasty, Okay. It's also a, a, a very sensitive time, you know, you know, where, you know, drug use is concerned. So you want to be careful. You know, it, it can be stressful and people may give into, you know, doing certain things out of frustration, but you want to be really careful. Okay. So I'm going to leave it right there. I just kind of want to touch on that. Okay, we got about an hour left before Mercury transits Scorpio, begins its transit in Scorpio, okay? Those are not fart sounds. Let me just say that. I'm on the table. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's say an hour from now, okay? An hour and two minutes. It's now 17.33. So, I'm going to leave it there. If I've got more updates. Okay. Oh, also, what I said. Because I did say this uh, about a week ago in regards to the C-19 transmission. And I did say that it was going to... Um, because I saw, you know, they, they started uh, reopening the country in a way. Loosening their gri grips or the curfew um, and lockdown lockdowns were concerned. Last Sunday, they had church service, and it turns out there's like a fourth wave in the island of Jamaica. This is not just in Jamaica. This is worldwide, okay? And uh, before I even heard about, you know, these other places and, you know, this, you know, supposed, you know, this, not supposed, this fourth wave in Jamaica, if it, if it is the fourth, I pretty much, you know, did that video. I'm going to put the link to, I think it was like more than one video. I think it was about two or three videos. I'm going to put the link to them videos under this video. So you guys can go ahead and listen into them. Because um, they, you know, they're going to have to, you know, they're, they're going to have to, you know, uh, re, you know, strategize in regards to the curfew hours and the lockdown. Okay, so there are going to be more lockdowns. And, you know, the, the, the curfew hours are going to be rolled back. I don't know how far back, okay? It all depends on the severity of the, you know, the, you know, you know, the increase in, in the cases, you know, and so on and so forth. But not much, you know, movements, okay? Just pretty much work. Just pretty much being around your relatives, your, you know, your family or your lover who you live with, you know? So pretty much that's it. But this is for the entire world because the transits are for the entire world. Okay, guys? So I'm going to leave you there. Thank you guys for listening to Mistake. Share this video to your friends, colleagues, relatives, family members, lovers, you know, your enemies and foes, your neighbors, you know? <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. Namaste.